What's up, YouTube? My name is Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Of course, we talk about fragrances on this channel, but we also jump into talking about some style and I give you guys some grooming tips as well. So if you put that all together, I'm going to help you make sure you're looking and smelling great every day. So if you're into that, make sure you hit subscribe. Don't forget to enable notifications by hitting the bell icon as well. So that way, anytime a new video is uploaded, you'll get notified. On today's video, guys, we're going to be jumping into talking about some of the most mass appealing fragrances or the most versatile. Let's say most versatile, not really mass appealing. Uh, they do have a, an appeal to them, of course, but the most versatile fragrances from 10 of my favorite niche brands. Now, how did I determine what 10 brands would be on this list? Now, with the exception of Novices Five Farm, which is a brand that I've done uh, fragrances with, so I don't include them on the list, obviously, because I have a lot of fragrances from Novices. Uh, but to take the bias out of it in some people's minds, I didn't include them on the list. But how I determined my favorite brands was I just looked at which brands I have the most bottles from. So that's what kind of made this uh, fun as well. So I looked at the brands, the 10 niche brands that I have the most fragrances from, and those are the brands that are featured on this list. So what I did was I looked at those 10 brands and I said, hey, if somebody's, because these fragrances are so expensive oftentimes with niche brands, if somebody were to look to purchase one just based on versatility, meaning they spend a lot of money, so they want to gonna, they're going to want to get the bang for their buck and be able to wear this fragrance in as many seasons for as many reasons and occasions as possible. These would be of those 10 brands, the most versatile, versatile fragrance from the brand. So that's what we're doing today. Some of the most versatile fragrances from some of my favorite niche brands. So you'll be able to get the bang for your buck if you will, because you'll be able to wear these fragrances mostly any season and occasion. So if you want to see what 10 fragrances made the list, you know the routine, keep it locked right here. Let's get it. You guys don't want to miss this one. I got some good stuff for you right here. Man. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into this video. Now, the first brand I want to talk about is the brand of Frederick Mall. Uh, so they will kind of be in 10th place here. I have 13 bottles from Frederick Mall. All right. So again, I want to make sure we're clear. I'm not talking about the most mass appealing. I may do that video next. I'm just talking about the most versatile from 10 of my favorite niche brands. Obviously, just I wouldn't say these are my favorites as well. My favorite from this brand is Portrait of a Lady. But the most versatile, I would say, well, you would get the bang for your buck. You can wear this in many seasons. It transcends seasons and occasions. Uh, it's this one, French Lover. Out of the ones that I have, I'd say French Lover is the most versatile. Uh, Galvanum, Violet Leaves, Vetiver, Oak Moss, and Cedar Wood are some of the main notes. This fragrance to me is very reminiscent of uh, Creed Spice and Wood. Just a pleasant, masculine, woody fragrance, which again, for a man, in my humble opinion, you can really never go wrong. It's very green, uh, as the name uh, indicates, uh, you know, with those green uh, elements here, with the spices here and the rich woods, the galbanum here provides that greenness. You have the spices, as I said again, and um, the cedar wood when it dries down. Very masculine, very manly. But of the Frederick Mall fragrances that I have in my collection, I would say this again is the most versatile. Um, a lot of times the versatile fragrances, you usually find them on a spring and fall list because spring and fall are the, the seasons where you have the most versatility as far as climates oftentimes. You can have cooler days and warmer, a little bit warmer uh, days in those seasons compared to just summer primarily hot and winter is primarily cold so a lot of these fragrances would fit those seasons so again versatility that's what you're looking for you're going to spend your money from Freddie Mall. this is the fragrance that is my collection that I would recommend so check it out and this one's called French Lover all right guys next up is the brand of fragrance Dubois and from this particular house I have 19 bottles in my collection and the most versatile Again, I'm, guys, I want to make sure I emphasize, I'm not saying this is my favorite from the brand, but the most versatile, I do like these, obviously, is London Spice. London Spice definitely gets some versatility out of this one. 
Uh, what you get here is peppermint, lavender, uh, nutmeg is in here, and cardamom. So it has that peppermint up top, which gives this, you know, of course, minty freshness. Uh, the spices here, uh, primarily the nutmeg, like I said, cardamom, and uh, the lavender, which gives it that this traditional masculine feel. So this is a fragrance, again, I could see you wearing any season, any reason, any occasion. You could wear it to the office. I can see somebody wearing this out on a date. I can see them wearing it any season. Again, that's what this list is about. Um, at the end of the day, uh, most of the fragrances on this list at retail uh, is going to be $300 plus. You know, so if somebody's going to spend that kind of money and then they'd be looking again for one fragrance from a particular brand, from a particular brand, I'm sorry, that you could really, like I said, get your wearings out of. Uh, these are the fragrances I would recommend. So check this one out from Fra Fragrance Dubois. Again, this one's called London Spice. All right, guys, next up from the brand of Jerjoff, I have uh, 19 fragrances from the brand of Jerjoff. And honestly, this was this was the easiest to pick when I talk about versatility from a particular brand. Of course, we went with 40 knots. 40 knots, amazing fragrance. Cedarwood, ambergris. Uh, I think I get some galvanum and violet, maybe violet leaves as well. Uh, they're kind of vague with the notes, but that's just kind of some of the stuff I picked up. It's, it's beautiful, guys. This fragrance is a chameleon. So whatever season you wear it in, I've said this before, is what is illuminated, at least on my skin. You know, uh, like I said, in the summertime, I definitely get that salty sea salt, you know, aquatic ambergris kind of, ambergris kind of feel out of this. Uh, in the springtime, I'm getting the greenness, you know, the galbanum and things of that nature that's in here. The powdery nuances, of course, uh, going into the fall. I think iris, maybe violet leaves uh, is in here as well. And then the rich, deep woods are really amplified in the wintertime. Just the perfect, versatile fragrance. Uh, again, if you're looking for a versatility king from the brand of Durjoff, look no further than this fragrance. This is a masterpiece. This is 40 knots. All right, guys, next up, we're going to the brand of Parfums and Marley. And uh, I have 20 bottles in my collection. Um, and when I think about versatility, you know, this is the one that uh, comes to my mind. This is Pegasus. Pegasus, beautiful fragrance, beautiful bottle, heliotrope, almond, lavender, uh, vanilla is in here as well. I think sandalwood. So again, it was perfect for, you know, wearing it pretty much any time of the year to any place. I love the almond in here, that almond heliotrope. Heliotrope kind of gives an almond feel uh, as well to a fragrance. Again, the lavender here, uh, but of course the star uh, player here, which kind of ties everything together in this fragrance to me is the sandalwood. Sandalwood goes perfectly and blends perfectly well with almond here. And again, it just makes for a highly versatile scent. I'm talking about any season, any reason, especially date nights. You can wear this any season, any occasion, and get away with it. And that's what this list is about. So check this one out from the brand apart from Jamali, the versatility king. This is Pegasus. All right, guys, next up is the brand of Creed. I honestly could have went with so many different fragrances from this brand, but I chose to go with this one when you're talking about versatility. This is Aventus Cologne. Aventus Cologne. And of course, what you get with this is that beautiful mandarin orange in the opening. Ginger, vetiver, um, you get some musk. And that smokiness is still here from the birch. I have 23 Creed bottles in my collection. Uh, again, with this brand, so many fragrances are provide versatility. Of course, the original Aventus, you know, I could have easily chosen that. Um, original Santal, one of my favorites as well, but I just went with this one. I've been wearing it the most as of late here, so <laughs> that kind of contributed to it. But I would say, again, another fragrance that is uh, equally versatile is original Santal from Creed. One of those two, uh, either way, you can't go wrong. Um, and that's one of the things I loved about original Santal when I first got my hands on. I'm like, ah, I can wear this pretty much anytime, any place, anywhere, any season, and it kind of fits. Um, but this is another one that has come along and kind of fits that description as well. So check it out from the brand of Creed, Aventus Cologne. All right, guys. Next up, this fragrance comes from the brand of Roger Parfum. Love the brand. I have 26 fragrances uh, from the brand of Roger Parfums. Easily, in my opinion, one of the most versatile. This is Elysium. Love this stuff. I got a huge den in it. Um, lime, galbanum, apple, ambergris, and leather are some of the main notes in this fragrance. So, 
Uh, this is a fragrance a lot of people have kind of uh, mentioned has a similarity to the Aventus DNA. A little, little bit of a similarity here, but this is definitely stands alone as its own fragrance. Um, I love the the juniper here. I think there's juniper berries. They kind of give that that kind of a stringent thing that I like here that just works so well with that apple leather. Like I said, the galbanum uh, in this fragrance is beautiful. And I mean, when you look up versatility in, in, the, in the dictionary and you're talking about fragrances, this is one of the fragrances that has to be pictured because uh, it's just super, you know, highly versatile. Uh, I can't think of any place that you will be going. I can't think of any season that you will be in. Uh, again, on any occasion that this fragrance just wouldn't get the job done and have you smell like one of the best guys in the room for sure. So check it out from the brand of Roger Parfum. This is Elysium. All right, guys, the next fragrance is coming from the brand of Boat City Victoria. It's a brand that I fell in love with here over the last two years or so, and I have 29 fragrances from this brand. This is one of the most versatile from the entire range. This is called Consort. Uh, this is Consort, and what you get here is orange blossom, juniper berries, uh, vetiver, and musk. We're going to be some of the main notes here. When I talked about this, I, I did actually did a singular review of this. I'll make sure I link it. I call this fragrance the Aventus Killer. Uh, it's kind of a, honestly, when I think about this fragrance, it's kind of a, a mashup, if you will, of Aventus, Hashivat, and Elysium kind of in one. It's really, really good. If you like any of those type of fragrance, similar scent profile, you're going to love this. I don't have to keep repeating myself. It's super versatile. So check it out from the brand of Boulder City Victorious. This is called Consort. All right, guys, next up is the brand of Amouage. I have 34 fragrances from this particular collection, so it is in the third place. And uh, this fragrance is Reflection 45. Reflection 45, Lavender, Jasmine, Neroli, Sandalwood, Myrrh, and a Poppinax. Now, I probably would have chose the original, uh, reflection man but as i said before when i'm talking about this fragrance when they added the myrrh and they're popping next to this dna it made it even more versatile reflection man is a versatile fragrance the white floors of jasmine the, the neroli and the whole nine they kept that they kept the sandalwood but again they added that the smokiness and the resinous nuances uh to the dna with the myrrh and the popping acts as i always say they kind of dirtied up the reflection man dna increasing the versatility. I can still easily wear this fragrance in the spring and summer and just as well now it works and performs really well in the fall and winter because some of the heavier, darker, woodier, smoky, incense kind of notes and nuances that they added to it. Masterpiece of a fragrance. Definitely one of the most versatile from the whole range. Check this one out guys. This is Reflection 45. All right guys, there are two brands left. Uh, before I show you this bottle, I want to give you guys a quick second to guess. What two brands do you think I have the most bottles from? Give you a quick second. All right, so in the second place, I have 37 bottles from this particular brand. And one of the most versatile fragrances in my humble opinion from the brand of by Killian is Rolling in Love. Rolling in Love. What you get here is, of course, almond, sandalwood, freesia, Vanilla and tonka bean as some of the main notes. This, oh man, when I come back to this, I'm reminded of how good this fragrance is. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll show you the back. There's a huge bin in it. And I actually haven't worn it in a while, but I was really knocking this out. This is kind of an addictive scent profile. Once you start wearing this, it smells so good, man. That almond uh, and sandalwood thing here is just so good. Beautiful elixir right here. Uh, like I said, versatility uh, should be his middle name. So check it out. If you guys have never put your nose on this, I think you really enjoy this one. This is called Rolling in Love. And in first place, the brand that I have the most bottles from in my niece collection, a whopping 42 bottles. Yeah. From the brand of what? You got it right. Some of you, I know, I know you, some of you got this right that have been following me for a while. Bond number nine. Lafayette Street. Lafayette Street, the versatility king from Bonham and I. Coriander, apple, tonka bean, vanilla. Some of the main notes. It just smells great. It's just so easy to wear. It, it can do it all. Uh, just like I've been saying about the other fragrances on this list. Uh, I was thinking about going with Centerpiece for him. That would have worked as well. Um, but 
I went with this one. Now, guys, look at how beat up my bottle is, man. The, the paint kind of starts to come off this bottle over the course of time. But I rock it, man. I wear I wish I could see how much was in here. But I really don't know. But anyway, there's definitely a versatile fragrance. And if you're looking to get maybe just one or two from Bond and you need it to be a utility knife, this is a fragrance that will get the job done. So check this one out. This is called Lafayette Street. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think next I'm going to do the most mass appealing, like the most complimented maybe from each brand. I think that's what I'll do next. If you want to see that, uh, make sure you guys leave that down in the comment section. But as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love looking good. I love smelling absolutely fantastic. So until next time, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.